Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. There are a bunch of new food items and menu changes that I wanted to come out and show you. I'm finally gonna try the famous Cocoa Puff Topped Black Calf that they used to only sell in Disneyland. Now they sell it here. And then also Sci-Fi has a whole bunch of new burgers. So we've got a reservation a little bit later on and I am so excited. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is June 2nd, and like I said, there are a lot of new food items, and most of the restaurants have new menus, so we're gonna try to explore as many as we can, but I'm excited to try that Star Wars coffee, probably the most. For the longest time, they were only selling this coffee over in Disneyland at Galaxy's Edge. And whenever I went over to Disneyland, I never really spent time in there because I could do it here. So everybody always says how amazing it is and we're finally gonna get to try it. I think we're gonna head straight down to Galaxy's Edge to get the Black Calf coffee. But like I said, we do have a reservation for sci-fi dining theater a little bit later on. And I'm excited because there's a whole new menu here. They've got some wings, some spinach artichoke dip, and a couple of new burgers, and it's gonna be exciting. On top of all the new treats and uh, menu updates, it's also the start of Pride Month. So there's a lot of photo opportunities and specially Pride snacks. So we might try a couple of those. I do hear about a new Pop-Tart over at Woody's Lunchbox. And that's kind of like a, a seasonal item. They always have a seasonal flavor. So we might check that one out as well. On our way down to Galaxy's Edge, I wanted to show you some of the cool Pride photo opportunities that you can find. Right here where Streets of America used to be and Muppets Courtyard is, they have these really awesome Pride Mickey balloons and you just stand up there and hold them. Like this! <laughs> The Cold Brew Black Calf is located at Katsaka's here at Hollywood Studios, but in Disneyland, I think it was over at Docking Bay 7. So I'm excited to see what it's like. Like I said, this is the first time it's ever been here. And here it is. They actually have a non-alcoholic version and a regular version. And here is the menu. The Cold Brew Black Calf, $5.49. Joffrey's Coffee Cold Brew topped with sweet cream cheese and chocolate puffs. And then you get the spiked version and it comes with Godiva chocolate liqueur for $14. So I'm pumped. I think I'm just gonna go with the regular one. I don't need the, uh, the uh, Godiva chocolate liqueur at the moment. Look at that back there. A whole bunch of Cocoa Puffs. And then this is the regular Cold Brew. Oh, thank you. Wow, they look so good. <laughs> they are, they're really pretty. So take your pictures and then stir it up really nice. You want some That's the way? Oh, yes. All right, so here they are. This is the spiked version. It comes in a clear cup. And then this is the uh, non-spiked version. And it's basically just the uh, Joffrey's cold brew coffee, cocoa puffs, and a cream cheese foam. And look at how it's just going down like that. And this one has Godiva chocolate liqueur in it. So we're gonna try them both, but I wanted to get this one, but I felt bad because this one's actually in a see-through cup, but that's how you tell whether or not things have alcohol in it. We're gonna try them both, and they said it's best when you mix it around, but you gotta take your photos with them first. So I'm gonna mix around the one that has the, the, the spiked one. There it is. That's how you do it. You gotta mix it around. It looks really good though, right? It's like a cereal on top. Oh wait, it is a cereal on top. Cheers to Boozy Coffee. We're all there. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. I don't taste the Godiva chocolate liqueur. Oh, I might have gotten a little cream cheese foam in my beard. Now we're gonna try the other one. And this one, I don't know. I can't wait to see which one I like better. You know what I mean? I'm sure the chocolate liqueur has a little effect on the taste, but we're gonna, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna give it the official taste test. Cheers. I like this one better. Wow. This one is really, really good. There's a, little, a slight kickback on that one, but this one just, it's, it's very creamy, very delicious. Mm. I also suggest that you maybe scoop out the Cocoa Puffs like cereal and eat it like cereal. Look at that. It's breakfast and coffee in one. 
Wait a second. No joke. This is amazing. Like, <laughs> I can just sit here and eating. I wonder if you can get extra cocoa puffs because that would be so awesome. But I love this. I, I think I'm going to start having coffee in my cereal. Honestly, this might be my favorite part right here. All right, now that the coffee business is taken care of, and let me tell you something, I love that coffee. Not the spike version, but the regular version. I can see myself getting it a lot more whenever I come over here. I think we're gonna make our way over to Toy Story Land and see about a Pop-Tart. Maybe like everything all breakfast. We have cereal, coffee, Pop-Tarts. <laughs> As we're making our way over to Toy Story Land, it seems the stormtroopers are actually out and about. So I want to go ask them if they got a chance to try the cold brew black calf. I doubt that. I think you're in charge. And we'll keep an eye on that one. It looks like trouble. This outpost is under observation by the First Order. Affirmative. Did you guys try the Cocoa Puff coffee? <laughs> oh, no, no coffee. No. It looks like the stormtroopers are super cranky today. They definitely did not have their coffee this morning. And here we are, Woody's lunchbox. Oh, by the way, I'm with Kristen right down Main Street, and we're gonna get a, a pop tart. We had coffee together. Did you like the coffee? I love the coffee. I thought it was great. I was so excited to try it. I've been eyeing it since I saw it on the menu at Disneyland. So I'm really happy it's here. It'll yeah. Oh, good, good. Now let's go get that Pop-Tart. The lack of shade in Toy Story Land is so fierce. It is extremely hot out right now. And standing in line for Woody's Lunchbox, because when you mobile order, they give you a return time. And the mobile order pickup time is like an hour from now. So we're going to try to do the walk up. But it is so hot. <laughs> And here it is, the Pride Pop-Tart. This is the seasonal Pop-Tart here at Woody's Lunchbox. And look at the little Mickey on there. It looks so fancy. Normally, I don't like the Pop-Tarts. I think they're a little bit dry, but I'm intrigued to see what the filling is on this one. It's what? a guava-filled pastry coated guava? in purple vanilla fondant. That's it? Guava-filled. Oh, guava. Oh, and JoJo's here. Hey, everyone. Guava. <laughs> Look at us. All, we're all like yeah, hovering around the, around the gather pop around the pop tart. As it slowly starts to melt from the heat. Yep. <laughs> all right, we're giving it a taste test here. Mm. Still a little dry, but you can taste the guava at least. Like you can really taste it. I don't know. If, maybe they should add a little bit more filling to it. What do you think, JoJo? I honestly don't mind it. It's pretty good as for a pop tart. I like the little blue thing on it. That's yeah. More flavor. Oh, what do you think? You caught me while I'm taking a bite. Oh, I know. Oh, oh. She's processing. It's good. It's not my favorite one that they have. I still like the the lemon blueberry is my favorite. The raspberry is number two. But this one is good. I love the outside like dough part, the pastry dough or whatever. It reminds me of like an Italian um, cookie that they fill with jelly back home. Ooh! But I really like the pop tarts. It's a pop tart pie. Oh it's, a, it's a pop tart pie. The fact that I'm still eating it means it's not bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The best thing about coming to the parks and trying snacks with a bunch of friends means you don't need to buy all the snacks. You can all share them. So that's really cool that JoJo and Kristen are here. So that way we don't eat too much snacks and we don't have to spend a lot of money. And we all get to try a little bit of them. <laughs> that's the way. That is the way. <laughs> Now we're gonna move along and I noticed that we were here before five o'clock and last time I came to Hollywood Studios I got really excited to go meet Sully, but then I found out he only works 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So today I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna meet Sully and it's Jojo's first time meeting Sully. I've never met him. Jojo! I don't know. I don't know how. <laughs> I love the queue to actually meet Sully because all the lights change and there's a bunch of different concept arts. Look, the lights are changing now. It's a very cool effect. And then you have to go through a door and meet Sully like you actually have to go through a door and I guess it would be my door there it is that must be my door two looks like the meter is pretty full too yeah. always trying to collect more laughs ah <laughs> I know a joke if y'all want to hear it Let's do yes it. please tell okay. me the joke so someone asked me if I was a magician like, of course I'm a magician. In high school, I made my GPA disappear when I took chemistry. Oh. Oh. 
All right. Oh, there he is. Oh yes, lovely. That's the way. Friends of these friends, he knows us. Very fancy. How are you? Good? Oh, you like the hat? I love it. Well, I'm just so happy to see you today. I really am. Can we do a hug? Yeah. Oh yes! I'm all about it. Oh, there it is. Thank you. The best hug right here. The best hug. <laughs> Thanks, pal. <laughs> I, have, I have a toy for you. And I think you can, you have to let me know if you like it. Okay? So, now, it, it turns on, so if she gets scared at night, she won't. Oh, oh. What's that? Did you just get scared? <laughs> Where is Mike? Well, tell Mike I said hi. He's doing a lot of paperwork right now. A lot of paperwork. A lot of paperwork. Yeah, we'll give him our best regards. Ah, yeah, that's true. Always watching. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, thank you. Oh, Good to see you, son. Yeah, tell Boo I said hello too. Oh, the, the oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh look at oh look at it's going. <laughs> You're such a good comedian. Oh man, the best. Bye, Sully. Thank you so much. <laughs> I absolutely love meeting up with Sully. How cool was that? That was so jo awesome. Jojo showed uh, Sully My his lightsaber, lightsaber and, and he jumped back. He was like, "What is that?" Yeah, he freaked out because he didn't know what it was. Yeah. And I said it was a nightlight. Which yeah. It kind of is. It kind of is a nightlight. Uh, people use them as nightlights. Yeah. But how about that hug? Uh, right. The way he just, just he just wraps you up. I'm I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I have a little monster fur in my mouth right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, give me all the monster fur. I love it. <laughs> all right, now it's time. It's time for the new sci-fi restaurant. Yep. Sci-fi dining theater. Yeah, I actually said it right. I used to say sky-fi. Sky-fi? Yeah, I don't know why. Welcome to the Sky-Fi Network. <laughs> so if you're not familiar, the Sci-Fi Drive-In is a drive-in movie theater where you actually sit in cars and enjoy your meal. I've eaten here plenty of times before, but with all the new menu, you know we had to come back out and try it. And it's JoJo's first time. <laughs> we're just doing a lot of firsts today. First apparently. timers here for him. Yeah, so excited. you're going to like it. Yeah, we're going to watch some horror movies and just chill out and... What? <laughs> Back in time, back to the 1950s, we're all heading over to the Hollywood Hills in California. Now, I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, John, did you just say California? That's so far away. But don't worry, friends, with movie magic, I'll get you there in seconds. All right. This way. Now, as we do Filming in progress, do not enter when red light is flashing. <laughs> oh. I love it in here so much. Looks like we're going to be sitting in the back at the picnic tables. We could uh, sit down at a table, but it would have been a tight fit because there's three of us. So I kind of like sitting back here anyway because uh, it's a little bit more well lit. And don't worry, I did both of I love how you have like your little speaker right here, so you can hear the uh, the movie. Then you just get to watch. Seriously, this is such a cool experience in here. Great balls of fire. Just the baby. Ooh. Oh, here comes Walt Disney. What? Oh. oh. One of the most fascinating feats in the modern science deals with the possibility of life on other planets. Here is a look at the menu, and like I said, some of the new items are the sci-fi smoked wings, smoked chicken wings tossed in porter barbecue sauce, and a house-made pineapple poppy seed coleslaw for $15. They also have a black garlic Caesar salad and a spinach artichoke dip for $13. And then the featured film burger is a surf and turf burger, which is their classic beef patty with a shrimp and crab cake on top. I always like to get the feature film burger, but I'm not too sure if I like crab cakes. So I don't know, we have to think about it. And then also, they have tons of really amazing desserts. So we're gonna try to get as much as we can. We're definitely gonna be getting the smoked wings. 
and I'm torn between the featured burger, which is the surf and turf burger, and then the drive-in barbecue burger. I do love me a barbecue burger, but the featured burger, the surf and turf, is the special. So like, kind of uh, tossing and turning there. News of the future. <laughs> Don't they make that noise? <laughs> like the news for the future. <laughs> Famous hot dogs for extra showtime pleasure. Now that's time to visit our snack bar. Last chance to visit the snack bar. Alright, I'm going. <laughs> Where's the snack bar? No one told me about that. It used to be out front. They actually used to give the free popcorn out. Oh, looks like here comes the wings. Oh, fans? Oh, wow. Those look fantastic. Look at this. Oh, oh. That's the spinach. Uh, Artichoke, yeah. Wow. The wings definitely look very, very saucy. Very saucy. Is that Tom and Jerry? Look at that. It is Tom and Jerry up there. <laughs> very saucy, saucy wings. So I can't wait to dive into those. We're going to need lots of napkins. And then the spin dip looks good, too. Got some chips there. I don't know. I guess we're going to dive in. We're going to dive into the wings. But like I said, they're very saucy. And I'm kind of shocked that it is... $15 for four wings. They get four wings, but going in for the first bite here. Prepare for a mess. Prepare for the wing mess. <laughs> They're better than I thought they would be, but I need a wet nap. <laughs> Look at it. I feel like Tommy boy. Me, Tommy. Me want wingy. I don't. I don't know. You never seen Tommy Boy? No. Who's gonna shut the camera off now? I can't touch it with my you. fingers. <laughs> There's the off button. Right there? No, that's that. Where, where is it? All right, right here? here? Yep. That's it? That's it? $14, I mean $15 for four wings. I can't justify it. The wings are good though. I mean, I like the sauce and everything like that, but holy moly. This tiny wing? Yes. This tiny wing? $4. $4 a wing. That's an expensive chicken. That's an expensive chicken wing. <laughs> Now I'm gonna try the spin dip, and I'm not the biggest fan of spinach artichoke dips, so this is kind of adventurous for me, but I'm gonna give it a go. Jojo, will you hold that while I dip? I got you. Now watch me dip, dip. Watch me nay-nay. <laughs> watch me dip. That was great. It was very clever. We're very fast. Very clever people here. So yes, here we sir. go. Yes, sir. Oh, it's pretty good though. Yeah. I don't think I would order it, but that's because I don't like spinach yet, but I like it. It's not bad. Looks like the burgers have arrived. Yes, and I love the little plates that they get. Look, it has sci fi on it. Oh, that's cute. It's like little car plates. Yeah. Everyone's got the good stuff. Yes, sir. I can't believe that's an impossible burger. It, it is. looks it's so an realistic, burger. doesn't it? Yeah. It's like. Yeah. Right, I was gonna try to make a joke about him being impossible. That's impossible. That's impossible. It's a real burger. <laughs> and then you got the barbecue burger just like me. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm so excited. Then... We're diving in. All right, here we go. I'm going in for a bite on the barbecue, the barbecue drive-in burger. It's got pulled pork on there and everything. Oh. That's so good. Wow. Look at that. Can I have an onion ring? Yeah. <laughs> and look at the inside of that burger there. Vegan. It's impossible. Vegan. So it's impossible. Vegan. I do have to say, I should have gotten the onion rings though. I think it's a $2 upcharge, but I think it's well worth it. They're unique. They're very, very good. The pulled pork on the burger is a nine hour smoked pulled pork. Nine hours. And it comes with the steak fries, which the steak fries are good. It's just those onion rings are better. I love the different horror movies that they actually show here. Look at this, it's like a double feature. Ooh. 
face Mickey should be popping up any second now. Oh, there he is! Sci-fi was actually really fun. I just love sitting in there watching the movies. The burgers were good. The wings were good. They were just expensive. Like they said, I think it was $4 a wing. $4 for one wing. I mean, I know the price of wings went up, but that's that's crazy and now uh we didn't get dessert in there i think we're gonna head down and get another dessert down at scoops uh and uh just kind of share it because i'm kind of full i mean we're all full those burgers are very filling like i said we're gonna make our way down sunset and over to scoops because they have a special milkshake that they just brought out and i'm pretty sure it's a uh, key lime uh milkshake with the donut on top like the orange bird one that they had so I'm excited. Also, I wanted to point out the Captain America shirt. Be on the lookout. The Captain America line with Roosevelt drops June 9th. And it's probably going to sell out fast. Like, it's a popular thing. I'll probably post Instagram. So follow me on Instagram and follow Roosevelt if you want to find them. And if it's your first time, uh, I have a promo code PMM20 for your first order. 20% off. But I love it. Look at this. Very, very fancy. Hollywood Scoops ice cream is always super busy here. It's always a line and it's actually pretty good ice cream. They always have unique flavors. I like to see them working up in there. Look at them. I don't know. I see an orange ice cream with a cone on it. Oh, that's not me. I'm going to hide over here. <laughs> As we're waiting for our ice cream from Hollywood Scoops, I wanted to point out the Tower of Terror is still the longest wait in the whole entire park. Still holding on strong to that top spot. 130 minute waits. 130. And it still looks like only half the ride is running because you see the elevator doors are only opening on this side. I don't think they're opening on that side. So that means half the, the ride is running at half capacity. And here it is, the Key Lime Milkshake. Wow, this actually looks phenomenal. I love how they add like a little donut on top of it. They're like that's what you need, a little donut with your milkshake. How awesome is that? And I like how they have little crumbs there on the side. I can't wait to try it. We're gonna have to dive in. All right, we're going in for a sip here. Mm. That's actually a really good milkshake. Key lime milkshake. I didn't think it would be good, but this is good. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely not a heavy, heavy milkshake. It is very light, but I do like the key lime taste to it. And we're going to dive into the donut. Even though the donut's starting to fall in, yeah. like it's starting to sink in there, right? Everything's starting to melt. <laughs> but you got to get the donut in there. You got to dunk the donut. Yeah. Dunkin' Donuts! Dunkin' Donuts! Dunkin' Donuts! Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Sean's gonna dunk the donut. Three, two, one. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, look at that cream. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do a little Dunkin' Donuts too. There we go. Oh yeah! Good. I actually, I'm surprised. I didn't think I was gonna like this. One. I could probably have one of these myself. I didn't need them. I think I like the donut better than the milkshake. <laughs> I like the Dunkin'. Donut. Yeah. Let's take a look at some of the wait times. Smuggler's Run is 75 minutes. Rise of the Resistance is closed. Mickey and Minnie's Runner Railway, uh, Railway is only 30 minutes. Rock and Roller Coaster was 100 minutes. Slinky Dog Dash is 100 minutes. Toy Story Mania, 45 minutes. So it's kind of like iffy. I, I feel like if Rise of the Resistance was open, a lot of these wait times would be a little bit lower. You know what I mean? Because Rise of the Resistance takes a big chunk of that wait time and it being down makes everything else busy. I always feel like Slinky Dog Dash and Tower of Terror are always the busiest rides here, other than Rise. All right, now that we got all of the snack coverage out of the way, I would love to go ride a ride. Let's go see what we can get on Toy Story Midway Mania or Mickey's, uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Whatever has a low wait time. Looks like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is like a 10 minute wait. It says 40 minutes, but when there's no queue outside, that basically means it's like a walk on. And look at this, it's exactly what's happening right now. Look at how crazy this is. Seriously. It's so funny when the wait times are posted and they're just so inaccurate. 40 minutes is not here. <laughs> Look at that. 
We're going right on in. Well, it wasn't exactly a walk-on. It was about maybe a 20 minute wait, I would say, because you had to go through the pre-show, but we're here. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Now that we got to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, it looks like it's gonna start raining, so we're gonna go seek some shelter. Probably at the best place to seek shelter during a thunderstorm at Hollywood Studios, Baseline. Oh no, it looks like the rain is coming and Baseline is closed, so we have to find somewhere else or we're gonna get caught in the rain. We really wanted to go to Baseline, and like I said, the rain's coming down, so we decided to run over to Tune In Lounge, but as we were running, we found a reservation for the canteen, for Ogre's Canteen at 9.05. So, we're, I guess we're just really lucky. Now that we made it to the Tune In Lounge, we've got uh, a little TV. We're sitting in the living room. Sean's over here. Yep. And then here is uh, the family portrait. Is that you when you were younger, Sean? Yes, so that's me, my mom, and that's actually you, I believe. Oh, that's it? me? Yeah. Aw, I can see it. You came over. The gather, what is this? The gathering storm. Wow. This is a good collection here. Well, now it looks like the rain has officially gone away. So we are going to make our way back to Batu. Back to Batu. All right, it's time to head on in. Wow, I think we got one of the best seats in the house. Has anyone dumps their cargo, doesn't pay what they owe, or delivers their shipment late, you will be placed on the dock list. That sounds exciting. Good luck, everyone. In the meantime, here is an alien that is on all of our lists. The Galactic Diva, Gaia! We've got a really awesome mix here. A little Gaia. Super excited. Thank you, DJ Rex. Put those lightsabers down! <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> He's confiscating the lightsabers. He's giving them the kid. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you. Look at that wine. I like it. Nice. We're doing a group cheer with everybody. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> All right. We'll do our own cheers here. Cheers. So I went with the fuzzy tauntaun, and now I'm about to go numb. Serena got the Olga's Obsession, which is basically Jello. Look at that. And then I got some Batu bits, and then we got the charcuterie. Look at this. This is a fun table right here. My favorite out of the Batu bits are these ones right here. You guys should turn on your lightsabers. <laughs> Serena is trying the Olga's Obsession. What do you think? I don't remember it having crunch berries. Yeah, crunch berries on there. It looks good. It's good. Do you want to try something? Yes. I want to try some. A spoonful of jello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there's pop rocks in there. Yeah. All right, now that we're leaving the canteen, uh, we're going to do my favorite part, which is walk out of the park when it's empty. And funny thing is, is we're not the last ones in there, and it's still not even the last uh, reservation. The last reservation, the park closes at 9 o'clock. Last reservation is at like 9.55. So there's still people like going to show up to start their experience. It's so cool to be able to exit out of here without anybody. It's literally just us. We've got all of Galaxy's Edge to ourselves. Isn't that so awesome? And it looks so different at night. Don't you love it? Yes. <laughs> it's like no people. No people. Like Till the spires. And with that, I think we are done here. Look at us. It's so awesome. It's one of the best things to do. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.